Hey everyone, in this section, let's solve a sequential form game in an extensive form. The method we are going to use is backward induction. We find out Nash equilibrium by this method. I'm going to show you how we solve this game. So we have big box as the first mover and we have huge box as the second mover. We have three decision nodes which are BB for big box who chooses to build or to not build. Then we have HB1 and HB2. These are for huge box. Huge box can also choose to build or to not build. And we have two mini games here. This one and this one. And these are called sub games. Now let's start from the very end points of this game. Let's say we are at decision note HB1 or rather I'm going to say huge box ends up at decision note HB1. It can choose between build or not build. At terminal node A it has two options which is either to build or to not build. So it's going to choose to not build because 0 is greater than negative 5. So this C is the solution to the first subgame. Now look at the second subgame where huge box ends up with decision note HB2. It has a choice between B and D. So these are the choices here, either B which is 12 or D which is 0. So it's definitely gonna choose B. And before any confusion, just let me know, let you guys know here, the second number is for huge box the person who moved second and the first number is for big box or the person who is the first mover all right so so far we got the solution from sub game one is terminal node c and solution from sub game two is terminal node b now we are going to solve this backward and look at this game from the perspective of big box. So if we have terminal node C as the solution, big box has a profit of 12 million. And we are going to compare this to the solution from sub game 2 where big box has a profit of zero million dollars so looks like big box has two options one is terminal node c and the other is terminal node b for big box i'm going to use this color red here if i look if we look at the first numbers in each of these terminal nodes 12 is greater than 0. 12 associated with node C is greater than 0 associated with node B. So my Nash equilibrium is going to be the terminal node C. So we have the two bold segments here which says big box is going to build and huge box is gonna not build and this is 
the Nash equilibrium and we just found this solution by the method of backward induction. Hope this makes sense and we are going to look at another example in the next slide.